so we had this example where we've we have this uh, bad manager node that's going to take his input this task or this this message that we sent assign this task to node two in this case but it could be one and the manager is going to then flip a coin heads or tails and if it lands on heads assign it to one if it lands on tails correctly but through sheer luck assign it to node two and if it assigns it to node one incorrectly node one is going to realize that it was incorrectly assigned and then it's going to reassign it to node two node two is going to recognize that um, you know it was correctly assigned thankfully to node one and then it's going to end and then that logic is going to work vice versa if it's incorrectly assigned uh, for node two um, etc and so we we've gotten this idea of these nodes and these edges but we're going to code the first first most part of our graph and that is our state and the state you can think of the state as a document it actually is it's a document that the nodes in your graph uh, share between each other and so the state is constantly updated and written to by every node in the graph and our state is going to contain a few pieces of information the first one is going to be called input now input is going to be literally the input message here we can paste that here and sorry that it's going off the document here but uh, the manager is going to receive this state and it's going to have the input set to our input message there's other pieces of information that are going to be in this state but when the manager receive, receives input receives like the first message this isn't going to be filled in the manager will have to write to it so we have this assign node field so assign node is going to be the node that the manager assigns after that it flips the coin so if it lands on heads then it's going to write here uh, the number one and this state is then going to be passed to node number one there's also another piece of state that i want to uh another uh, another piece of information in the state that I want to take note of and that is this prev node to write and it's going to be set to uh, the previous node to to write to the state just for logging purposes so we can see sort of the flow of the workflow flow of the graph whenever we run it um, but yeah so the manager is going to take his input just a state without any of this information here just the input it's going to flip a coin and if it lands on heads then it's going to write one right here to the assigned node and then write that it was the previous node to write was manager and then it's going to pass this state on to number one the worker node one one's going to realize that there's a discrepancy between node two being assigned uh, being assigned being for this task and it being si assigned to the task and so it's going to overwrite this no one's going to overwrite this and then write um, in the previous node to write right here, it's going to change it to uh, node one. And so this will be node one. And then it's going to then pass this state onto node two. And then node two is going to realize that these two things sync up. And then node two is going to say, I was the previous one to write. And then it's going to go to end. And so that's how this is going to work. So first, let's see how we can translate this state, just this state right now, to code. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, LangGraph likes to have our uh, states in, in typed dict format. So a typed dict is a dictionary that has types. And so essentially what it is, it's where every key has a specific data type. So Gemini has already generated this for me. I don't think there's any need for me to go through it and uh, rewrite it. But as you can see, we have the class we need to create a class called graph state you can name it whatever you want but that's what i called it here and then it inherits from typed dict and it has three keys right it has the input key that we talked about the assigned node key that we talked about and then we have the prev node to write key that we talked about um, and they all have specific data types that they are set to so input has to be a string assigned node has to be an integer and prev node to write has to be a string and so this is the state that our graph is going to pass around between nodes. And that is how you can create a state in LangGraph. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually create the nodes of our graph.